Then my college life began. In those days, I missed those fun things like social gathering, festivals, religious ceremonies, etc. Because I have to go from place to place and from person to person and ask them to read a stanza opera for me. That was my sole duty. And sometimes, no, I didn't find reader to read for me. And I put all my books around me and cried a whole night. And sometimes I thought of discontinuing my study, but as there was no option, I had to continue my study. These days, blind students could use computer, scanner, high-tech devices for their studies. They could appear exam through computer. But I had to go from person to person and cried for help. Once I engaged a, a scribe to write for me in the examination. But when I received the admit card and the, when the exam drew near, she refused. When I asked why she refused, she told me that her uncle advised her not to write in such exam because it would create problem when she would apply for a government job. I could not force her, no? So I cried and cried and cried. And I told my mom, why have you borne me like this? Why didn't you kill me? My mom was crying. And I also cried. One of my uncle, neighboring uncle, Uncle K. S. Bohul Singh heard me crying and he came and asked me what happened. And I told him that I could not find a scribe. Then he allowed his daughter Bizaya to write for me and also sent two of his daughter Rita and Revita to read for me and it is because of them that I could complete my graduation. And I would also like to thank two of my best friends, Sorokaibam Susila Devi and Guru Aribam Sangita Devi for helping me in my studies. During my college days, when my friends put on makeup and came to college, I also wanted to do the same. Then I used to apply cream, I used to apply powder, lipstick, and I went to college. And when I reached the college, my friend told me that I had got something on my face and asked me to wipe out. I was embarrassed, feeling very shy when someone uh, told me that there is something on your face. I felt very shy. So I just went to the girls' command room, took water from the filter and washed my face. Then I decided not to apply makeup anymore. Then now I gave full freedom to my children. Do nail extension, put makeup, lipstick. Girls must be look beautiful, no? Girls must be look beautiful. If, if necessary, she could keep a boyfriend also. She could go to party, but should not cross limit. You could go to parties, you could do makeup, but you should not cross the limit. And you should not behave in such a way that people would consider you as a characterless or mannerless, isn't it? And I asked my son, do you have a girlfriend? He said, no. And when I asked, why not? He told me that these days, keeping girlfriend costs a lot of expenses. Putting makeup, going to parties, and mix with friends, learning, socializing does not mean that one is totally ruined. This is part of our life. I get along with my children as a friend. I sacrifice some of my wishes for my children and my children sacrifice some of their wishes for me. And 
we should not give excessive restriction to our children. It may ruin them. After graduation, just after graduation, my parents took me to a hospital in Guwahati for treatment. There the do doctor diagnosed me as suffering from retinitis pigmentosa and advised me to undergo further investigation and treatment in Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. I collect all the uh, materials relating my disease and send it to my boyfriend. I requested him to please visit the hospital once so that I could go for the treatment. He went there and when he came back, it seemed he had changed his mind and wanted to leave me. When I tried to know why he wanted to leave me, I could not know. When he came for the vacation at home, I engaged someone to find out the reason why he wanted to leave me. And the reason was that when we got married and got children, my disability will create problem in bringing up the children. If that was the reason, I challenged to him that when I got married and got children, I would show to him that a disabled mother could also bring up children. Now that my children had completed their graduation and master's degree, I could proudly say that a blind mother could also bring up children alone without her husband. Then I decided to learn Taekwondo. But what happened was that when I started learning Taekwondo, one of the players while practicing uh, kicked me on my face and one of my tooth was gone and I said goodbye to Taekwondo and my dream of becoming a famous Taekwondo player failed. And after that I learned Tabla under two gurus. When I completed my Bisarit class, my right elbow was fractured fractured and operated and I could not play tabla anymore and my dream of becoming a female tablist ended there and I once again faced a failure. And after that, I started learning Hindustani vocal music. I completed my Madhyama class and one day in a concert, in a music concert, I met an instrumentalist called Sir Lysum De Ben Singh and he advised me to enroll my name in the Students Welfare Association for the Blind and I did it. I had completed my master's degree in literature and I wanted to do a job. But whenever I think of a job, my disability stood on the way to the job. So I hide my disability and attended an interview. I was selected and appointed as an assistant teacher of an English medium high school. But after some month, the headmaster caught me and he told me, he asked me whether I had problem in my eyes. And I straight away told him, should I need to resign, sir? Then he said, no need, you could continue, I would help you. I'm very thankful to him. And at that point of time, there was another entry of a guy in my life. And I met him in a uh, religious ceremony where I and some other elderly women sang and he played flute. He proposed me and I agreed and I got married in 1997. After one year, I got my son Monoranzan. And after two and a half years, my husband started taking me as a burden. He quarreled with my parents, took my son and ran away. I tried to stop him, but could not. I was shocked. The day he left me 
was a very terrible day for me and the night was a very very nervous night for me i was shocked i felt like dying life was like a burden to me because i was not prepared for it and he was the he was the person whom i trusted most i was in a deep depression and in a trauma it took years to got out of the trauma but i never give up i wait for him he never came back neither he came back nor he called me to his place to live with me i was confused and after some month i got my daughter aradhana in 2001 but he refused to accept his daughter as his child he had hurt me many times when he said he was a foolish to marry a blind like me and that people make fun of him i excused him but when he said that his daughter was not his child i could no longer excused him i decided to take up a step of my own either i had to choose to be stooped before him and be his slave or i had to choose to be a brave mother and brought up my two kids alone without his support well i chose the second option and i set him free i thought i had no right to tie him down to me and that period of my life was the darkest period of my life before separation i never thought of my career i thought that he would lift all my burden and my life would no longer be hard but after separation i began to think of my career and my source of earning income i was struggling within myself financially physically emotionally because i had to start my life from the beginning i had to bring up my children alone here i realized that responsibilities made people brave and successful and rejections made people strong and powerful i was totally broken down and hopeless i was torn into pieces by my husband and the society i tried to help myself but i could not but with the help of my children i healed myself my children were my power my children were my power and my children were my strength i was happy in the company of my children let at sleepless night when my children were fast asleep as i cuddled them though they do not know i told them how could how could your blind mom how could your blind mom rest you up my child 